Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about physiological changes in the blood during pregnancy. So we have covered this topic in our uh, generalized video of physiological changes in the pregnancy but I want to uh, make emphasis particularly on this uh, aspect in a separate video because uh, it's very important and people just leave this thing uh, in ignorance. Okay, so let's start. So the blood volume increases during pregnancy is 1500 ml, around 1500 ml. So if we take 5000 ml as a total blood volume in our body, then it will be increased 30%. Okay, so the blood volume is increased by 30%. Now in this 30% increases, the plasma increases by 25 to 80%. So remember, even 80% also increase can be there in plasma. And so in the RBCs, that is packed cell volume, if you compact all RBC, that will call, uh, give you the packed cell volume, PCV. So PCV will be increasing 12 to 14, 40%. Okay, remember these figures. Now hemoglobin overall hemoglobin increases by 10 to 15 percent still concentration decreases because of increase in plasma okay now wbc let's see wbc in wbc all over count increases so total leukocyte count tlc will be increases but it will be increased because of increased in neutrophils monocytes will be also somehow increased but lymphocyte will be decreased so these changes when you find any cbc report of any pregnant woman start seeing these changes now because when you find a cbc report of any uh, any any uh, woman or any pregnant woman you will directly see that hb is this platelets are this wbc is this but you don't uh, see particularly these figures so also try to remember this thing platelets also decrease Sorry, platelet decreases because of there is gestational thrombocytopenia is there into about 6% of cases. Now comes the very important aspect that is coagulation. Generally, pregnancy is a hypercoagulable, hypercoagulable state. You know? That's why what factors increases in this thing? Factor 5, factor, uh, factor 5, factor 7, factor 8, factor 10, factor 2. Von Willebrand factor, fibrinogen, all these things increases. So these are pro-coagulant pro factors. Fibrin also increases. D-dimers also increases. So whenever you need to go for D-dimer test in pregnancy in third trimester or second trimester, the D-dimer value will be already high. So yes, it increases in pregnancy. Uh, where the protein C, protein S and fibrinolytic activity will be decreased. So all over hypercoagulable state will be there in the pregnancy. So these are the changes. You need to read this thing uh, repeatedly so that you remember this thing very uh, efficiently. Thank you friends.